Hi guys, so I thought I'd draw an angel card. Now one has just literally come out. Um, I did actually put a longer message on than this, but it's as if the angels were trying to get so much out, literally they've dropped everywhere. So rather than you sit and watch that, I thought I'd just stop the video and just start a new one. So be honest with yourself is what's coming through. And I'm going to read this to you. You receive this card as a gentle confrontation because the angels know you've been hiding from your true feelings. You've probably been afraid that if you admitted how you honestly felt, you'd be overwhelmed with feelings and faced with making some necessary changes that you feel unprepared for. Yet, the angels assure you that it's the healthiest way to face this situation with honesty. They will help you with your emotions, relationships and any support you need to make positive changes. However, the angels remind you to focus only upon your desires and not upon your fears so that you can attract the former and not the latter. So the additional meaning for this card is the situation will improve when you face it squarely. You deserve better. Trust your own feelings even if others don't agree. Don't give away your power to others. Avoid getting caught up in the illusion of this. This is the way it is. So I'm picking up that somebody out there, there's something that's going on in your life and you've got to really look upon this. Now this has this has come out in a reading, I think it was last week. Um but I'm giving guidance that this is for the person it was originally for last time. They're saying that you're working through it, you get you're doing really, really well and they're so proud of you, but please call upon them and ask them. Ask Archangel Michael to cover you in love and light for protection and also to give you the confidence to deal with this situation. They're with you, they're surrounding you, they are they truly love you and they support you. But please don't forget to call upon them. My hands are really tingling now. Please call upon them because they will help you through this. The saying, stay strong, my child, stay strong. We are with you every single step of the way. Don't let anybody take your power away from you. Stay in your own power. Protect your frequency and your own vibration. So if you're around a situation or a person and cover yourself in love and light, just imagine a tube of light coming down and surround yourself before you even enter that situation so you're already protected and then breathe in the light and just breathe the light out to literally and it will go out to the people or the situation and you'll find that they will react differently it'll either go quiet and they won't respond in the way you're expecting them to or you will have the confidence and the courage to um, I'm putting my hands up now because there's some energy that's coming through. So what I want to do, guys, is just send some energy through to your throat chakra, which is here. And this is where we have trouble with speaking our truth. Um, I have trouble sometimes because I always worry that... Um, I always worry, sorry, I'm, I'm being told what to do, so I'm just literally doing what I'm advised and guided to do should I say not told they don't tell us what to do the universe doesn't the universe guides us and only wants the best for us so I'm just sending this through to your throat chakra but definitely call upon your angels call upon Archangel Michael ask him to protect you pure love and light energy so let's send this light through to your throat chakra the energy the reiki energy through to your throat chakra i'm just releasing any negativity here now just taking anything away that no longer serves you and you don't need so this might seem a little bit weird to look at, but this is literally, I'm being guided to pull any negativity away here. 
So I want you to lift your neck up for me a little bit and I want you to take a deep breath in. In through your nose and then out through your mouth and let it out. And I want you to do it again for me. I'm actually sending you some sage as well. So, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let it all go. Let it release it. Let it all go. There we go. Clearing. Detoxifying, removing, cleansing, any negativity away. And from your aura as well. Let's cleanse your aura and make sure that your aura is covered in love and light. So nothing can get through. Now if you find any negative thoughts coming through, just say to your mind, say to yourself, no, I'm not going, I'm not going there. I'm taking time out from this situation and I choose to let it go and just imagine you put in the thoughts or whatever's coming through to you, either throwing it out into the universe, if you're anything like me, as I was when I first started out doing this and connecting with the universe and the angels, I'm a typical Capricorn so I know need everything to be really logically set in my mind that I'm actually doing it and it's working so I imagine the thoughts or the emotions even as well of how I'm feeling through the thoughts that are coming through to my mind the negative ones I imagine them going into a tennis ball and just putting them all in there and then just literally throwing it out into the universe and asking the universe to um, remove these thoughts for me and, and literally feel them go and then you will start to feel so much better, especially if you take control of your mind. Don't let your mind take control of you. Your ego likes to be in control, and we don't want that because we can control the ego. We can control our minds. It takes a lot of practice, but believe you me, once you're able to do that, you will then feel that any tightness in your stomach and your chest will start to go away as well. Because what we think, we then start to feel. Then when we start to feel, that's when it comes out into our bodies with aches and pains and things like that. So we don't want that. So let's start with our mind. And then let's breathe in the light into our heart. Breathe the light out and protect ourselves as well. So I really hope this has helped, guys, today. I'm sorry, I started off with an angel card. It was going to be a quick reading but I really, really felt drawn to do this and I want to just clear any negative energies away as well. So feel free to leave any comments if there's anything I can help with. If you've got any other ailments or aches and pains, then I can send you some Reiki as well. I don't charge. I feel like this is a time now that we we pass on the gifts that we've got. And we've all got them. We can all, we can all do Reiki. It's tuning in. And it's believing and it's having intention, putting the intention out that this is going to work for anybody who needs it right now. And I'm surrounding you in beautiful love and light with Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel to help any messages come through that you need to receive, Archangel Raphael to help with any healing. So let's send a little bit of healing here while I'm here to your heart as well. Let's smooth away any anything in your heart let's smooth it all away and send some beautiful reiki energy for healing here smooth away any scars that was the word i was trying to think of so let's smooth that away and send that through to you So imagining a big ball of light coming all the way through, working through all your chakras, your crown chakra, your pineal gland, your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, and your root chakra. I've probably got that in a bit of a different order, but the process is still the same. We're still healing all your chakras here, grounding you into the ground. So with lots of love, light, healing from me, Archangels and the Universe.
Take care. Thank you for joining me.